Hi guys, this is Uchi for Only Home the NG, and I'm just waking up, and um, I feel like this is the best time to do this video because <laughs> I want to show you all that I'm pissed. I'm royally pissed. I'm pissed off. Um, I know we've spoken about the Eleko expansion project that goes all the way from Eleko Junction to Ekbeti Junction for the first phase. And I've spoken about this several times on this channel. And then the second phase, I think that's about 18, 18 kilometers plus. And then the second phase goes from Eleko Junction down to Ibrahim Adesonia. That's about 27, um, 27 kilometers. The government says they are going to deliver this before Samudu's first tenure in 2023 comes to an end. But we all know that that's not possible with the level of the road, like the this the this state, the level of progress rather. But that is another video for another day. What I want to talk about today is they told us first of all they told us that this road is going to be six lanes, right? That's three lanes, and I've even talked about it. That's going to be six lanes. You know, you have three lanes for people that are going toward Lekki. Then you have another three lanes for people that are going toward Ekbe. And, you know, three lanes. One lane is going to, two lanes are going to be for normal moving vehicles. And the third lane is supposed to be for heavy moving trucks. <laughs> but first off, the truth of the matter is that with what is on ground, <laughs> you know, we went to Ekbe to launch an estate. And I was telling my 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 two friends, the developers, I said, like, is this the whole road? Are they going to add any other lane? Like, this is the whole road. You have one very small lane that can hardly pass two heavy moving vehicles. And another smaller lane by the right that's supposed to be for BRT. So what you have essentially is four lanes in total. And the major lane is so small, and because that there's still a lot of construction that is going on, so you see that tippers, lorries, trucks, whatever you want to call them, they are constantly passing there, and it just takes one truck to break down, you know, for you to start having traffic for traffic. Then, in fact, as we we're going there, there was they were still constructing, but like a truck broke down. And we had to use that, we had to divert traffic off that smaller BRT lane and um, move there for a bit before we now joined the main rail, the main, the main road. You are, I don't know why people aren't concerned about this because this, this, is, this is dishonest. This is not sustainable. This is a scam as far as I'm concerned. Because what, what business does Lagos State, the center of excellence, have doing with such small roads? The major roads at Ekbe are even larger. Because in my mind, I was like, okay, maybe the people that they gave this project, but it's the same Craneburg that is doing this road that did the major roads at Ekbe that has been there since Ambodi's time. And those roads are even larger than these major roads that we are speaking. So... All it just takes is for one to just break down. If it's, if two now break down now, you you have a you are, you have a issue on your hands right now. So down 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 down, you'll be because right now you know it's, it's still chill. You don't have that much traffic once you're out of um, Ipejuleki. You don't have that much traffic. But when that Alaro city starts, you know Ekbe is opening up. All of all those things happen why why is it that these roads are too small and i don't see another reason apart from the fact that the government wants to save um these lands that are beside the road so that they can just keep selling and giving government allocation you can't tell me that there's any other reason for that because developers too are complicit i mean david Huden, a popular critic of the Buhari administration and, uh, and of course the Lagos State administration, he said that, and when he said that, I just I just started thinking about it deeply, you know, because why would you leave such a small portion for a major the Expressway? Do you know how many states is interconnecting? 
connecting to Ogun, you know, it's the the commercial capital that is Lagos is connecting so much together. And then you have these so 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 small like small lanes. Something that I I I was thinking that it was actually going to be three lanes, three on each side. But then that means that how many people's land will have to go? That means that you don't have to pay 50 million for allocation for 15 plots for them. Uh, land charges, they will not have to do the government allocation, C of O, and all of that. I, this this literally, literally breaks my heart because people that are in government don't think. And like I said, developers are complicit because they just want to buy, buy by the road, government collect government allocation land, buy by the road. And the businesses that you're, you're, you're positioning by the road, at the end of the day, affects you because the traffic. We went to Ekpe, like I said, to launch to estates. The traffic, I got home around Lekki Axis, around 11. First of all, from Awu Yaya. So this, this madness is just... <laughs> it, the solution is not regional road. The solution is not more overhead bridge. The solution is that this road is supposed to be a major road that should be at least four, five, six lanes but what you have is just one lane that can barely take two cars side by side two giant lorries and very bad drainage and then you have bad spots and then you have traffic that goes back and everybody everybody both you in your g-wagon both you in your uh, mercedes both you in your range rover everybody's now in that traffic and you think that you're living the life like Honestly, I'm very, very disappointed in the government. I'm very, very disappointed in everybody that thought this thing was a wise idea. I'm very, very disappointed in urban planning, whatever that are involved, regional planning and urban planning, whatever that are involved in this. Because this Eleko Junction Road, this Eleko Road, this whatever, Lake Yekbe Express Road, is not sustainable. It is calm. It is like it is a racket that they are running there. It should be bigger. It should be wider. See, People should stop thinking very, very, very small because um, what I believe is that a pharaoh will arise that did not know Joseph. That's a biblical reference. And in the future, all of these things will not be. When Amechi came, Amechi came and said that demolishing lots of buildings. Those buildings were thriving in whatever, you know, illegal structures. People were going down, you know. So maybe, maybe doing this now, I'm thinking that, ah, you're just gaining from ineptitude of government but in time you know in time all i feel like all these things will change somebody that has half a brain would come and right these wrongs the government should actually actually because the soft like are you except you don't live in lagos are you not tired like is the suffering not much is the soft like the traffic all there was as i was going there was um an accident along that chevron road and from Chevron down, down to like as far back as it was very like I kept, it was so far. Just a little, a little issue on the road, and then that's traffic for the next three, four hours. The road structure is not sustainable now. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Whoever you support, whatever side of the divide you're in, is not sustainable. We can't keep living like this. And there's the plan for the green line rail. How, where is the green green? I was even thinking that it's even going to be after the three lanes on each side. It's even going to be another lane. But obviously, they'll probably have to erect pillars for the other one. You know, if it's not like the type of rail, um, rail that runs, you know, on the ground. I don't know about you. I don't know if this bothers you as an investor, as a resident living in Lagos. But I don't think it's sustainable. And I think that we've been hoodwinked. I think that we have been served the short end of the stick. And nobody's saying anything about it. Everybody's okay with it. Everybody's just saying new Lagos, new Lagos. New... Is this this fragile infrastructure that's going to serve the new Lagos? I'm out, man. So, this is the only home BND TV show as well. Um, contact us if you want to do any stuff. And if, if you're in a position that you can actually do something about it or say something about it, and if you see this video, please do so because this doesn't make any sense at all.